Welcome to MegTech. Um, today I am going to be replacing the battery on an iPhone 5S. I'll go straight ahead and start the process. So, as with all mobile phones, you have to make sure you turn off the phone before you start doing any repair. So I'll go ahead and turn the phone off. Uh, once the phone is turned off, the two screws situate at the bottom of the phone. Um, these are both star screws, so I use the star screwdriver and I'm going to undo these two star screws. The so first one and the second one. Just make sure when you take the phone to pieces that you put all of the screws in a safe place so they don't get lost and that they're also easy to remember where they go back afterwards. So I will now go ahead and using the sucker I will place the sucker just above the home button not over the home button uh, dead centre in the middle of the screen well near enough as, any, as I can get it and then using my two fingers on either side of the chassis and my, middle, and my forefinger I'll pull gently and as you can see it starts to lift if you've got long nails, you can actually slide in your nail in there. Um, for example, I will use the plectrum that comes with a kit we supply. And you can just pop that into the end of the actual, between the screen and the chassis. Um, and it will hold it apart. And then using a separation device, I will then just slide down the side of the screen. And you see when you slide it down the side of the screen, it will just pop open. And I'll just go out of the corner and then go down the other side. So that screen is pretty much lifted out. And then using my fingers, I can just gradually tease it open a bit further. It's holding a little bit there on the edge. Yeah. So he comes open. As you can see, inside of there, there is actually a, a flex cable that links to the actual home button. Um, I'll just take the sucker off. Um, and so, um, what you have to do here at this point, um, well there are two options. You can actually either um, pull the connector off the main board, or the other option that I tend to go down is, is to unscrew the screws, which hold the actual um, metal plate on to the back of the screen which hold the buttons in place. Um, it's an alternative but it works quite well. So that all comes out. There's one screw, there should be two screws in there. And then this button then just literally comes off. And then it will come open free then. You don't open any more than 90 degrees because um, it will actually damage the screen if you go any further than 90 degrees. Um, so whilst I'm doing this, I'll now go ahead and just test the new battery. So I've got to take these two screws out off the main board, which holds the connector on for the battery. And there's a metal plate and you can see there's a connector there for the battery. There's the, there's the connector for the battery and I'm going to get my battery that I'm going to change it with and I'm just going to place it in its place like so so that battery is just going to rest on top and I'm going to lay the screen down gently on top and then power the battery power the phone on just to test the battery out so the phone's on um, the battery seems really good it's 91% charged um, so what I'll do now is turn the phone back off and uh, I've pretty much tested the battery out really um, so that's back off now, uh, open it back up, holding it 90 degrees, I'll just take this battery back off because it's just going to get in the way currently where it is. So at this point I'm going to take the uh, screen off, uh, it's the safest process to go down when doing this repair because you will have to pry this, this battery out and it does require a bit of pressure and the chances are you'll probably damage the ribbon cables at the bottom of the screen if you accidentally tug on them. Um, so I'll use a Phillips screwdriver. There should be four screws in here. There's actually three because this phone's not new. It's a second-hand phone. 
and it's obviously been repaired before so I'll take the first screw out and the second screw out and the third one um, all the time I'm taking these screws out I am actually making sure that I know where they go back because if you do put the screws back in the wrong hole on these phones uh, they are the screws are all different lengths and they will actually screw into the main board and you'll end up damaging the phone permanently and it won't work so I've done I've put my screws onto the white surface in a figure like a four point shape so I know which corner that the screw goes in and I'll take the metal plate out and then I've got to take up these connectors so there are actually four of them I think in this phone this one is the one for the camera, that one's for the LCD, and the last one is the digitizer. The fourth one I don't disconnect, that's going to the flex, to the buttons of the phone. So the screen's out of the way, and at this point I've got to take the battery out. A lot of the times taking these batteries out, um, they are quite difficult to remove, they are stuck down usually quite well. This one's obviously been changed before, so it may not be as difficult um, as it would normally be from the factory. Um, obviously this battery is one of our own. There's nothing wrong with this battery. I'm literally doing this for um, exam example purposes. So I'll go ahead and I'll just try and pry that. It's actually going to come out quite easy, I think. Yeah. If you have difficulty taking these out, I would suggest using a bit of heat, like a hairdryer or something just to uh, make it easier to lift out because when you heat it up it softens the glue so hold the battery in. So I'll just now go ahead and take the plastic sheath off this ba new battery and then what I'm going to do is bend the flex at the side of the battery So I've, as you can see, I've bent that so that it's actually bent over at a 90 degree angle. So basically that wire will sit down the side of the battery and line up with the connector on the main board. What I'd also do with this particular one is I'm gonna peel out all of this second hand adhesive because it shouldn't really be in there. It's been used, it's not sticky anymore and the battery is probably not going to stay in there snugly and it's supposed to be held quite firmly. That's all out now. And then what I'll do now is, on the back of this new battery, I'll use a new sticky strip and I'll peel off the blue layer. And what I what I tend to do with these, I lay, lay it just over the one end, level with the so basically that if you can see the the black tab at the end it bends over and goes around the end of the battery. So I've lined it up more or less level with the pink. And then I'm making sure it's all stuck down firmly. Um, you peel it like that. If it starts lifting up, just push it down. It will stick down eventually. And then rotating it around. You only have one attempt at this, really. Um, line it in. And push the cable down in place. So it all lines up perfectly. So then what I'll do then is I'll just disconnect it. I won't leave it connected now. I'll do that last. And what I'll do is now is just connect the screen back up first. These go on a, a little bit trickily. But the, as long as they clip on and you can hear it clip in place, 
um, generally that's a good sign and it all works okay afterwards. Worst case scenario, you'll get lines down the screen. <coughs> it on. So the battery, the phone is back on, um, everything seems to be working okay, the screen works, the battery is holding at 87. Um, I'll go ahead now and just turn it back off because there's no point leaving it on. And what I'll do now is I'll just put the metal plate back in. So that's the top screw, the bottom left screw. And the bottom right screw. Battery in place. And I'll just pop the metal plate back on top of the, the battery connector. And then what I'll do now is I'll turn the phone upside down and line the button up back up with the screen, like so. And then I'll just pop the connect this metal plate back. As I said before, this phone is not a new phone and it's a second hand one and it has got a few screws missing which I will actually put back later, but for, for the reasons of changing it now, I won't do it right away. So I'll just put that screw back. So I'll just hook the top of the screen back into the frame. Um, and then it basically, once it's got lined up at the top, you clip it all the way down. And it just needs the two security screws back in the bottom. I'm just going to test it again to make sure it all works. So this is all back to the way it was before. Um, and it seems to be all working fine. 